Don't run. Come on, jump. Welcome back to the channel, Virtual Grace here. You guys know we are still in Kabale at uh, Lake Buyoni, and I'm still staying at the backpackers here, having a good time as you guys can see. But today, as always, we are going out, we are going to explore the areas around the lake, you know, the islands, and then the community to see a lot of things to see and a lot of stories to hear like i heard there's a punishment island and you're going to hear about it everything about it okay but before we go if you've not subscribed kindly click on that subscribe button when you do tap on the bell and select or oh, that will be the first to know when i post a new video or i do a live stream and definitely share this video okay remember we are still in uganda east africa enjoying this beautiful country so now let's go we are going on a boat ride on the lake to explore all of these beautiful places. You don't want to miss that. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And here is our guide today. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Introduce yourself. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, um, I'm your guide today. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is like Bunyonyi. You know, Bunyonyi means uh, small little birds. So here we have got a lot of birds here. Okay. And some we are going to see them, like when we are passing in one of the shores of the lake. Okay. And uh, we will also uh, pass to one of the island where there is some animals like zebras, impalas, waterbucks, okay. Uganda cobs. Okay. Then from there, we go to Punishment Island. It's where they used to punish girls before marriage. Like when a girl gets pregnant, when she's not married, they used, they used to look for those girls around this area. Then they take them to that small island. So that island, there is no food. It's just a small island in the middle of the lake. Then there is no food there after like three weeks. Without no food, they died. So um, this is our, the, one of the first deepest lakes in Uganda and that is the second deepest lake in Africa, and it is the third in the whole world. So uh, the first deepest lake in the, in the whole world, that is Lake Baikon, it is in Russia. Then the second it is Lake Tanganyika, it is in Tanzania. Then this is the third deepest lake in the whole world. So this lake, uh, we have got 29 islands. So some, we have some historical islands, like uh, the island with the uh, activity, like zip lining. So there is a zip lining, there is a ride the bike from the trees, and I can do ninja warriors. Then also the second island, it's where we are going to see animals, uh, like zebras, impalas, water bugs, Uganda cobs and marking. Okay. Then, the third island, that is the punishment island. Okay. Then from the punishment island, we come back here for the Sweeping Adventure Park where you can do some zip line. Okay. So, um, this lake, we have got some fish. Uh, we have like tilapia, we have uh, mud fish. We have silver fish, we have catfish. And uh, the lake here, we don't uh, have animals, like uh, 
crocodiles, you don't have hippos, you don't have uh, bilhazia, so the lake is free, but it's deepest. And uh, it is 900 meters deep, which is the first deepest lake in Uganda. So like when we are going, we pass one of the islands here. So the big building. Bunyoni Safari Resort. Yeah, Bunyoni Safari Resort. So there are um, resorts around this yeah, area? Yeah, yeah, many, many. Okay. So when you come here, you, you have a lot of options? Yeah, to choose. To you choose, choose whatever from. you want. Mm -hmm. So like when you scroll up on the internet, yeah, you, you see. get yeah, many places. Also here it is called Edirisa campsite. That's one of the crested cranes, the yeah. national birds of Uganda. Yeah, of Uganda. You guys can see over there. You see them on the Uganda it's national flag. It's far? Can you see it? So we have so many here, like when we are going in the front of this side, we will see many. And so, that's a school? Yeah, this is a school, it is called Detroit Angels, nursery okay. school okay. and primary. So like these people who are standing here, mm -hmm. so they come by boat, you see? This okay. is a school boat. The children come to school by boat? Yeah, they come by boat. Yeah. So, Every day they cross. With the boat? Yeah. They and cross then after boat. school they cross back? Yeah. Okay. That sounds cool. Yeah, so it is a private school. Okay. Yeah, it is for the needed children. So all of them who are studying here, so they lost their parents. Okay. Yeah. Children who lost their parents. Yeah. Okay. So is a school owned by Uganda? Yeah, it's from up. Mm. Can I see what is on our boat? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we also have someone going with us. Yeah, so they normally hide in a, like this. Yeah. It's called the Bunyonyi Echo Resort. So we've so like, been to uh, Bunyonyi. This is yeah, Lake Bunyonyi Echo Resort. Okay. So the, uh, like this is uh, the island for animals. So one side it is a lodge, then this side is uh, where the animals they eat from. Maze. Doctor Isa, Konali, So we've made a stop at the Lake Bunyoni Eco Resort and we are going to see some animals here. I can already sight some antelopes. I've never seen an antelope in my life, so this is like the first time I've seen them in, you know, videos, pictures and all, but seeing them in real life, this is certainly going to be my first and I like it. <laughs> and like he said, the guide said there are a lot more animals that we are going to see, so I can't wait to go in there and show you guys. Let's go. So those are antelopes grazing. Mm -mm. The first time in my life to see antelopes. Guys, I've seen them in okay, pictures, in videos, but real life, mm -hmm. this is my first time mm. here in Uganda. <laughs> it's actually drizzling. But I had to show you guys this, okay? Let's continue. Hey. Guys, so you guys have seen the antelopes, right? We are going to see more. <laughs> yeah. So where we are going now, which animals are we going to see? The zebras. Zebras. Waterbug. Waterbug. Ugandan cob. Ugandan cob. Donkeys. Donkeys. Yeah. Okay, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All of those animals you've caught, I've not seen them in real life as well. Okay. So I'm happy. Today you will see them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then over there is the lake. Yeah. 
And the girl said it's a meaning and not an island. So Uganda is that country that gives you a beautiful escape from, you know, city life, mm -hmm. the hustle and bustle of city life. So you want to enjoy refreshing, serene nature. Uganda is the country for you, like I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And you get to see a lot of beautiful things. It's for you, but for me, it's not good. Why? Me also, I wanted to travel, I go away in Nigeria, so <laughs> like those countries. <laughs> you not see, in Uganda. you don't know the beauty of what you have until you lose it. Only Uganda maybe is beautiful. The, the green. Yeah, it's green, yeah. it's serene, you know. Yeah. I love it. And that's the lake over there. Look at the beautiful scenery. Okay, here are donkeys, guys. Well, for donkeys, I've seen donkeys in real life in Nigeria when I went to the north, Kazari. But for zebras, this will be the first time seeing a zebra. And there it is. Oh, the zebra is going away from me. <laughs> Doesn't want to see me. Look at that beautiful creature. A zebra in the midst of donkeys, why? Yeah, so the, this zebra, it's a female, it's a female zebra, I mean, it's a female donkey. Okay. So he gives birth, after gives birth, now the, the male donkey wants to mate again. Because okay. here we have two donkeys, okay. male one and one female. So okay. the male wants to mate again. Okay. Then the zebra came in to protect the younger baby and her mother. And uh, finally they were fighting, now the younger baby, they died. Oh. After died, now the zebra won the two donkey, the male one. So now he's the one in the control of the female donkey. So that's the female donkey yeah. there. Yeah. And this is the male one. Yeah. And okay. uh, the zebra met that one. So now by next year we are waiting for a donkey. The zebra met this one. Yes. Zebras met donkeys. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, because we have two zebras, both they are male. So this one, they don't know what to do, so he decided to. So what, what would they give birth to? To the, to the zebra. Zebra donkey? Yeah. That's what it will give birth to? They will give a uh, donkey. <laughs> donkey, white, nicara, black, and Oh, goodness, brown. this is crazy, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, it's crazy because also this island is a crazy man island. <laughs> Yeah. When, when, when it gives birth, please take a picture and send to me. Let me see what it will look like. Yes, please. All right. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Guys, so these are some of the things you see in Africa. Only in Africa. My beautiful Africa. Oh, the zebras are running away. The zebra is running away. Let me try going close to the... Zebra. Don't run. I He's should not... coming here just. You pass here. Just you come here. Okay. So it will come to this side? Yes. Okay. You pass here, then he will run away going here, then. Okay. And there is the zebra. Ooh, it has went. It has gone. <laughs> yeah, they are Ugandan cob. Ugandan cobs. Yeah, so Imperas and Ugandan cob. They are likely the same in Nicara, but the difference is uh, Imperas has black strips on their tail, while Uganda Nicobu doesn't have. On their tail yeah, or on, on their, their horns? Tail, yeah, on their tail they have black strips, Imperas has black strips. That is what? antelopes, guys. Impala is antelope in Luganda. So what he's saying is that antelopes have black strips on their tail, Yeah. but Ugandan cubs don't. And this is Ugandan cob yeah. you, you are looking at here. And but they look like antelopes. They, yeah. These are all the animals you have here? Yes, please. Okay. So, so finally we have finished to see the animals and now we are heading to the boat. Okay. So as we'll... you are continue to see the other island, like Punishment Island. Okay. Yeah, Lipros Island. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What Over there are the water bugs. I can spot one. At the moment, you can see it there. It's also grazing. So we're back on the boat 
and we're continuing our tour. So where are we going to now? So we are going to Punishment Island. Punishment Island, yeah. okay. That's the hospital. Yeah, it's Gamma Health Center 3. The hospital um, serves the people on this island? Yeah, okay. also across the lake. And that from ac across the lake as well. Yeah. People come to that hospital. So this is the punishment island. So they used to punish girls before marriage. Like when a girl gets pregnant, when she's not married, they used to look for those girls around this lake, mm. this area of the lake. Then uh, they take them here. So I leave them here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So after like uh, two weeks, three weeks without no food, no one didn't know how to swim to cross. So they died. Africa is full of beautiful stories and places, but also very, very <laughs> horrific stories sometimes, like unexpected stories. Crazy. Now you see some birds are making their nests. And those birds, they are called uh, great cormorants. Great cormorants. Yeah. OK. That place over there is where you board boats. When you come from town, you board boats there and cross over. 